Henry VIII, 1491 to 1547. In 1509, at the age of 18, Henry, then Prince of Wales, married his older brother Arthur's widow, Catherine of Aragon, of Catholic Spain, the daughter of 1492 era Ferdinand and Isabella. He succeeded his father, Henry VII, to become Henry VIII, King of England, and, during his reign, had six wives and sired as many as six children, although two remain to this day contested as his own. In 1533, at 42 years old, Henry divorced his brother's widow, Catherine of Aragon, and secretly married Anne Boleyn for this act. In the same year, Pope Clement excommunicated Henry VIII from the Catholic Church. In response to this, in 1534, Henry VIII began the English Reformation, declaring the previously Catholic Church of England Protestant. Henry VIII passed the Ecclesiastical Appointments Act, requiring the clergy to elect bishops nominated by the sovereign. The Act of Supremacy, which declared that the king was the only supreme head in earth of the Church of England, and the Treasons Act, which made it high treason, punishable by death, to refuse to acknowledge the king as such. In 1547, Henry VIII died of morbid obesity. He was survived by one son, Edward VI, who was crowned at nine years old, and two prominent daughters. The first, Mary Tudor, by Catherine of Aragon, and the second, Elizabeth I, by Anne Boleyn. In 1553, Edward VI, at 15 years old, died of consumption. Immediately prior to his death, he appointed Jane Grey, his cousin, to the throne. After nine days, Jane Grey's reign ended, and she was replaced by Mary Tudor. Mary Tudor, 1516 to 1558, the cousin of Mary, Queen of Scots, sister of Elizabeth I and Edward VI, and daughter of Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon. 1553, Mary Tudor passed the Statute of Repeal Act, which returned the Church of England to the 1539 Six Articles. It did not repeal the 1534 Acts of Henry VIII. In 1554, at 37 years old, Mary Tudor married Philip II, then still only Prince of Catholic Spain. Mary Tudor, the sister of Edward VI and Elizabeth, and Philip II of Spain, 1556 to 1598, ruled England, Spain, and the Netherlands. In 1555, Mary Tudor earned her epithet, Bloody Mary, by instituting the Marian persecutions of Protestants using the 1534 Treasons Act. In 1558, November, Bloody Mary Tudor died of a pituitary tumor. Elizabeth I, the daughter of Henry VIII and the sister of Edward VI and Mary Tudor, was anti-Spain and pro-Dutch, and in the winter of 1558 and early 1559, Elizabeth I was coronated Queen of England at age 25. In 1559, Elizabeth I passed the Act of Supremacy, which declared the monarch of England the supreme governor of the Church of England. In the same year, she declines Philip II of Spain 
as a suitor. In 1560, Elizabeth I sent troops to Scotland to defend it from French spies of Mary, Queen of Scots, Elizabeth I's cousin. And in 1561, the following year, Mary, Queen of Scots, returned from Catholic France to a Protestant Scotland to find that her people considered her infamous. From 1563 to 1566, Parliament was prorogued, temporarily dissolved, by Elizabeth I, also known as Good Queen Bess. In 1567, Mary, Queen of Scots, married James Hepburn, the Earl of Bothswell, and together they conspired to kill Henry Stuart Darnley. And it was for this crime that, in 1568, she was imprisoned by Elizabeth I. In 1570, Elizabeth I was excommunicated from the Catholic Church. In 1571, the Ridolfi Plot, and in 1586, the Babington Plot, were both blamed on Mary Queen of Scots by Francis Walsingham, Elizabeth I's Chief of Security. And thus, in 1587, Elizabeth I had Mary Queen of Scots beheaded. In 1585, the Treaty of Nonsuch began the Anglo-Spanish War, which lasted until 1604. In 1588, Philip II's Spanish Armada was routed by fire ships in the English Channel. In 1603, Elizabeth I died of depression, literally diagnosed as melancholy. <laughs> 